Welcome to this tutorial where we are going to be taking a quick look at an intracellular structure we have called our centrosome and centrioles that go along with it. So before we even start, we can say that our centrosome is an organelle within the cell, despite it not being confined by its own lipid bilayer. So we have our cell here with its nucleus and the cytoplasm outside of our nucleus. Now, what is our centrosome and where are we going to find it within the cell? Well, we're going to find it in the cytoplasm and I'll just put it up on the screen here. So this is going to be our centrosome here. Well, this is actually going to be two centrosomes. And what they do within your cell is organize your microtubules, which is part of your cytoskeleton of the cell. And they're also going to be where you construct microtubules. So organization and construction. And we can think of our cytoskeleton simply as cell skeleton or what's giving the cell its structure and form. Now, if we zoomed into these centrosomes that are within our cell, we're going to find that it will look something like this. So it's this fairly odd looking star-shaped like structure that there are two of grouped together and we call the individual units of the centrosome centrioles. So each one of those star-like structures is called a centriole. I'll just write that here. So we have two centrioles that make up our centrosome and they're going to be arranged at right angles to each other. And this right angle formation has to do with how our centrosomes are created, but we don't really need to focus on that right now. We just need to know the basic function of our centrosome and centrioles. So just know that they're arranged at right angles to each other and that we have two centrioles within our centrosome. Now, before we get too carried away with what the centrosome does, let's focus quickly on what the structure is. So our individual centrioles are going to be composed of nine triplets of microtubules. And when I say triplets, what I mean is a grouping of three. So we can see here that we have three microtubules per triplet in this uh, star formation of the centriole. So we know so far that our centrosome is going to be responsible for organizing and generating the new microtubules of our cytoskeleton, but we don't know what else it does. And for us to talk about that, we need to discuss our cell cycle. So if I bring up this diagram here of our cell cycle with its uh, different phases, so I'll just put in our G1 phase, our first growth phase, our G2 phase, and our M mitotic phase. The first thing we need to know is that usually within the cell we only have one centrosome. So I'll remove that second one I put there for the moment within the cell. So we've only got one centrosome most of the time within our cell. But when it comes to the S phase of the cell cycle, we're going to replicate our centrosome and we replicate it from the existing centrosome. Now remember that S phase is the same time that we're replicating our DNA as well. Now if we're replicating it from the pre-existing, that means just like our whole cell, we're going to have a mother and daughter centriole. And from there is where we'll create our second centrosome, which we'll talk about when we talk about the centrosome cycle. So we're past that point now in the S phase of our cell cycle where we replicated our centrosome and we have two. And when we have two centrosomes within our cell, it means we're preparing for cell division or the mitotic phase. So we have our two centrosomes now. And when it comes to your mitotic phase, your two centrosomes that you now have within the cell are going to be responsible for a huge part of mitosis, which is the formation of the mitotic spindle. And in our mitosis tutorials, we will talk about the mitotic spindle a lot more. But the last thing I want you to be aware of, although I've mentioned it already, 
is the anchoring and generating role of new microtubules that our centrosomes have. And if we were to look at our cell under an electron microscope, we would see that our cytoskeletal microtubules are extending out from the centrosome with a very dense population right near the nucleus. And this is the location where we will find our centrosome. So we can see all of those microtubules are becoming very dense toward the nucleus and the centrosome. So now we know all the basics about our centrosome and centrioles and can develop a deeper understanding of what will be happening when we begin to discuss mitosis. And as always, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.